This is my 2010 Toyota Tacoma, and at the beginning of this month, it was absolutely bone stock. Now, as you can tell, it is sitting on one tons with 40 inch tires. It is a three link front suspension, 63s in the rear, and we have fiberglass converting it to a third gen 2016 and up front end. The goal is to have it completely finished in 30 days, and right now, we're on day 24. Brought to you in part by Alpine Toyota, Martech Engineering, and in part by. As you guys know, one of the key parts that we are waiting to show up is the gear setup kit for the rear end. We actually have the ring and pinion, but don't have the bearings and seals and stuff for it. According to the tracking, we're actually gonna have all the parts to set up the rear end tomorrow. So in order to prepare for that today, I'm actually going to put the rear end of the cab up here on jack stands, pull the entire rear axle out, lead springs, anti wrap and all, and then I can paint it all and prepare for the gear setup. So I got the axle in the shop. Now the plan is to essentially strip it right apart. I'm gonna take the leaf springs back off, the anti-wrap bar off, I'm gonna take the carrier pinion flange out, just so I can get it down and then paint it off. And up. It's free! They seem to be doing a bunch of like landscaping stuff at the school across the street, so I apologize that you have to listen to that through this whole video so far. I'm trying to wait for gaps in the noise, but it's not happening. Anyways, next on the agenda is to cut the overloads out of these leaf packs. I don't want to take the overload right out. I think I need it as a lift block. So the overloads as a whole will pretty much be just as wide as the perches on the axle. I've already had these leaf packs apart so that I could paint it. The center pins are brand new, so it should be pretty easy to take this apart. And off. So I've got this overload here centered on the perch, so I'll just make a couple of marks, take it over to my vise, and give her a couple cuts. And here is the final product. Let's go make it a full pack again. End up, end up, end up. Boom. So what is the overload? and why the heck did I cut it off? Well, it's pretty much exactly how it sounds. The overload is for when you have too much weight in the bed and your leaf springs flatten right out. 
This stops it from arcing the other direction. And the reason I cut it out is because that same action of stopping the leaf springs from flattening out too much is the same thing that would stop these leaf springs from flexing out to their maximum potential. And not only that, but when this is attached to the truck, you see this guy, it hangs way lower than the rest of the leaf spring, creating some low-hanging fruit that would then get caught up on rocks and logs, and it's just easier to delete it and be done with it. Another thing these overloads help with is axle wrap. So when you step on the gas, the axle doesn't try to twist on you. On this build, however, I don't have to worry about it because I've got that anti-wrap bar. And while everything's unbolted and taken out of this axle, it's time to give it a coat of paint. No, I'm not keeping that copper weld-through primer. As much as I know some of you guys like the color, it's going black. So I'll take my wire brush, give it all a quick once over, and then painting time. So not only do I want to paint that axle, I'm also going to paint the anti-wrap bar and the U-bolt plates and the shackle for the anti-wrap bar. I felt a couple of raindrops, so I rushed and moved the stuff that I painted outside in here, which works out a little better anyways, because I like I hung these guys to dry, I hung these guys so that I could paint both sides and it can all dry overnight, and I painted the other side of the U-bolt plate. Also, I rotated the axle over so that I can paint the underside of it, and now... I think that's it for today. Anyways, guys, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. And hey, make sure you subscribe because we are daily vlogging until this truck is built. Less than a week left. See you tomorrow.